Kelsey Lee on the run. Get way. out there. Oh, my God. It's yeah. Kelsey, Kelsey Lee. Roberts. G'day and welcome to another edition of Run, Jump, Chuck. Thanks for joining us, guys. Huge weekend down there in the national capital. We're heading over to Perth for a love stream this weekend, Robbo. Oh, mate, I haven't slept, literally haven't slept this week. Uh, I'm sure you're the same. Look, uh, Mossy, a lot of love. I'm feeling a lot of love in the room here today. A lot of love uh, out there in the community as well. It's Valentine's Day this weekend. And, yeah, as you mentioned, the love stream's on in Perth. Absolutely can't wait. Now, we were over there at uh, Canberra. Hugely fast track, beautiful conditions down there. The crowd turned up as well and what happened on the track and in the field didn't uh, disappoint. No, it looked crazy that it hasn't been uh, going for a few years. Uh, you think maybe a few missed opportunities, a few missed PBs, but you're right, the athletes came and they did dominate this time and we'll go through our run jump chuck. Summary as always, Mossy. Well, let's do it, mate. Let's kick things off on the track. Let's go for the runners. Tough to, tough to split, Mossy. I'm going to have to get permission to, to wedge in two here. Uh, I'll start off with the women's sprint, the 100 metres. Mel Breen, Sally Pearce and that big showdown it didn't disappoint. Both of them walked away with world champs qualifiers. Sally Pearson almost walked away. She came within that much of get walking away with a, with a PB. So she's run 11.16. Uh, sensational run. And to hear the hush uh, amongst the crowd before they took off was amazing. Uh, I had a chance to catch up with Sally after her win. Really excited. It's my second fastest time I've ever run in my life. Moss, Mossy just didn't say that, yeah. <laughs> the last time no, was yeah. 2007 and 11.14, so it's, um, it's looking good. And I, there's a lot more to come because I remember the last part of that race then, I was struggling to control my legs. So once I can get a bit more speed under my feet, then it's going to be good. What's next for Sal Pearson? Oh, another 100 metres. You're going to do it? 200 metres. Beautiful. Yeah. You love them, don't you? Totally oh, do it now. Who doesn't? <laughs> You're going to go and do it now? Get it over and done with? Might as well, hey, I'm fresh. <laughs> now, mate, you mentioned there that you, you couldn't split it. You, you got Sally there, smoking Sally, but uh, 800 metre... Alex Rowe was there, mate, and the crowd loved it. And he, look, he, he went out there and smashed it too. Yeah, yeah, Rowe, the postman, he always delivers, as they say, and uh, this was no different. He absolutely smashed it with a 145.38. Uh, perfectly paced first lap, and then he nailed that second lap. And here's what he had to say. Yeah, it's, uh, it's a struggle to keep this microphone up on that one thing at the moment. But um, yeah, I really went for it and uh, it's about 200 to go. I thought I was in real trouble, but um, I guess I just kept on fighting. And because I had that momentum through the first lap, um, I could just hold on and, and still end up running a really good time. Now, Robbo, you know I've got a real soft spot for the jumpers. It's something that's really kicked in for me over the last sort of six months, mate. Uh, and there was a huge showdown. Uh, there we had Brooke Stratton, we had Chelsea Gench, and it was a beauty as well. Yeah, it was. It was like a boxing match. Uh, it was hit blow for blow, and uh, they just kept coming. Chelsea Gench, massive PB, 663, one centimetre off uh, Brooke Stratton, 664, which she jumped a couple of times. Uh, and look, as you can see in the footage here, absolutely class jumping. We're going to see this battle continue. I'm very sure of that. Absolutely. I just can't wait to see it. 670 is the World Championships qualifier, and it'll definitely go before Melbourne and Hopefully we uh, get at least two girls over there. Or seven oh one. I want to see them both do the the national record. Oh, why not? The at the same time. Yep. Yeah. Okay. Not literally jumping oh, at the same good. time. Well, you can throw it out there. Jumping. Now, listen, mate. Uh, Canberra, Kelsey Lee Roberts, local girl, chucking bronze medal last year, mate. Uh, she turned up. There were some Chinese girls there as well as Catherine Mitchell, and it was a bit of a doozy. Look, the Chinese needn't have bothered turning up. Um, <laughs> Kelsey was always going to win this. Well, we saw the Chinese the day before doing triple, do a triple jump. Triple jump. That well, was their mistake. Oh, but they thought a run, jump, but they forgot about the chuck, right. and that's what they were here for. Look, they, they got it all wrong. But uh, Kelsey Lee, she was always going to be hard to beat. Her confidence is right up, sky high. Catherine Mitchell with a late uh, late throw in the last round came within a whisker of uh, beating her. I will just correct you there, mate. It was a late chuck. Oh, there you go. Sorry. Uh, but 63.78 for Kelsey, 63.70 for Kath Mitchell. The good news is it's both. Uh, World Championships qualifiers to add to the other list. I tell you what, I was shaking. Yeah. Uh, it was just, uh, they always say like getting that qualifier out is a mental relief, but it was it was exciting to know that I, I'm at that level of throwing again. Yeah, and I'm guessing you haven't stopped smiling since that bronze medal over yep. in Glasgow as well. Oh yeah, I'm just riding that way. Awesome. Well, it's time to turn our attention to the news, Robbo, and I tell you what, Canberra didn't disappoint this weekend. We had the Canberra Track Classic and also on the Sunday at Stromlo, we had the the World Cross Trials. You went out there very early on with the camera, mate, and you just, you were loving it. Yeah, this was great. Uh, Dave McNeil, we've seen him in form, had a good run down at Briggs in the 5,000 metres. He took out the men's race. 
In second place, with no shoes, uh, showing a lot of class, was Harry Summers. But the women, Mossy, what about this? Vic Mitchell. She went out there, again, barefoot. She trains with Sean Williams alongside Harry Summers. And uh, here she is getting the win. And Mossy, uh, look, I think confidently I can stand here and say she's the first person to win a World Cross, champ cross Country Trials with no shoes and a pair of aviators. What do you reckon? Well, mate, it's uh, performance enhancing as well. Imagine if she had the headband. I'm tipping national records, maybe even a top five finish over there in the, at the world. Well, we'll work on that. One bloke that did have a headband was myself. I managed to have a little run in the Punters 5K later on. You'll see here, I managed to borrow uh, Vic's less, aviators, paying homage to her great result. So very big thanks to Vic, and uh, it's turning into the Vic show here, Run Jump Vic. It is, mate, and I, we always thought it might turn into the Kurt Fernley show, uh, because he just doesn't disappoint as well. You know, he's an absolute legend. Here in Newcastle, he doesn't just have the keys to the city, he actually has the key cutter to the keys to the city. So he distributes it even to the mayor, he, he decides whether they get them or not. Uh, he won a great award during the week as well. He did. AIS put this on. First year they've done it, the Australian Sport uh, Performance Awards, the Aspers. And uh, look, it's right up there with the Grammys and the Emmys. And uh, so Kurt took home... I thought home... he won an Aria. Well, <laughs> <when they said. laughs> He's not that good at oh. music, let me, let me tell you. But he won the Asper for the Best uh, Sport Personality of the Year Award. It was a popular vote. I must admit I voted a thousand times for him because you could just keep voting and voting. I think plenty of people here in Newcastle did as well. But a great win for Kurt. Knocking off names like Tim Cahill, uh, Sally Fitzgibbons. A great uh, honour for Kurt and a great thing for our sport. Let's not forget that. That's the sound of some breaking news, Robo. Give us something. David Rudisha. No. Biggest name in world 800 metres. Wow. Re world record holder. Woo. Coming to the Sydney Track Classic. Coming to the Melbourne World Challenge. Mossy, he's heard about all the hype surrounding the live stream. He wants to get his mug on it. He's coming over here. Can't wait to see you out here, King David. Okay, Robbo, I do want to throw in another little segment, mate. Uh, we saw some great performances on the weekend as well. Um, mate, I have noticed one little thing that's been popping up. We first were introduced to this concept uh, at the first ever live stream back at Hunter when our cameraman, Les, he was actually producing mm -hmm. that day, but he, he got up and gave us a signal to say, look, things are going well. He gave it the double thumbs up. Okay, so we called it doing the legs. Les or the double thumbs up. Now, it's starting to take off. He actually did it on the live stream, but very shortly afterwards, we saw Michelle Jenica. She gave it the double thumbs up. Yep. And if we didn't think it was trending now from Les to Michelle, okay, it now jumped over into Kelsey Lee Roberts after I interviewed her in the car. She's given it the double thumbs up. So Kelsey says double thumbs up. Shelly says double thumbs up. It's good enough for Les as well. So this is a new segment. People out there on social media, send us your picture. Double thumbs up. You get your chance uh, to be on the show. Show us your thumbs, folks. Use your emoji icons if you like. Oh, there, there. Yeah, that's and, right. And uh, get involved. But we'd love to see those thumbs. Now, Robbo, I noticed that one other thing, mate. On the way back from Canberra, heading towards Newcastle, about two hours out, we started to get a little bit tired. So we thought we'd pull in and have a, a bit, of, bit of coffee and a bite to eat. Um, now, do you remember... You probably still see them, but the, the big prawn? Yes. You've got the big banana? Yep. Uh, big pineapple? Yep. Do you we love our big things. We love big things here in Australia. Absolutely right. Well, Goulburn's got something big as well. Now, some people may be familiar, but it's actually changed shape a little bit. It was the, the big merino, but we actually noticed when we got here, and here's a photo of it. It's actually now the big Molino oh, yes. from Justin Molino. Of there course. he is. How did they not think of that earlier? Well, they were struggling to get tourists to come in, and wow. they just put Molino, and all of a sudden, hurdlers, run and jumpers from all over the world are coming along. They're flocking, Mossy. Ah, oh, boom, tish. Well, Mossy, while we're on it, why don't we start a new segment? I'm going to call it... The animal athletes, so we've got the sheep covered. What about the white tiger? We saw Chad Paris carving it up down there in Canberra, so he's got the tiger covered. And what about in the commentary box, our very own Ollie Worm? <laughs> so there you go. If you know of an animal that crosses over with an athlete, um, there we go, and we'll see what we can do. We'll get him on the show. Absolutely. Well, Robbo, as you know, mate, it's not all aviator sunglasses and truckers caps for me, mate. I like to jump in the car, and I like to grab an athlete with me. We've had a runner so far in Benny Saint, We've got uh, Jug Crowther, he was our jumper. Now we had to round out Run Jump Chuck with a chucker. Mm -hmm. And I thought, look, we're down in Canberra, why don't we catch up with at that javelin girl, that's right, Kelsey Lee Roberts, the bronze chucker from Canberra, and here's how that one panned out. I just want to go back last year, Com Games yeah. finals. 
I love reliving this. <laughs> yeah, that's right. Talk us through, like, what was it like in the bowels of the stadium about to uh, get ready to go out there? How were you feeling? Oh, wow. Yes, yeah, so I've never experienced anything like that. Yes. Yeah. I went a couple of days earlier when they have, like, track and field first started, and I was like, hey, yep. I'll get in there, get a sense of what it's like, hear the Hamden roar. Yeah. Kind yeah. of that whole thing, get a bit of a sense of an idea of what it's going to be like. And before that, I actually went in when it was open into the center and yep. sussed it out, okay, so I'm throwing from. But when you walk out there for an actual event, yeah. you're in the middle of it, you get just noise from every direction. And, and it's then, like it's over, right, Robbie Crowley well, talked about this, Droogie says, right over the top yeah, of it, you know. Yeah, you literally feel like you're in like, almost a fishbowl. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because it's just from everywhere. Uh, so much fun though. I think you were in fourth position coming to the final throw, is that right? Yeah. Yeah, so I Cut. held like third for like four rounds. Yep. Yeah, I think because threw it on the second, and then we were like Aussies were like one, two, three for that round. Yeah. And then Sinet came back, so I think yeah, held held third for like yeah, the four round, three rounds, and then Catherine comes out <laughs> and just hits one final round. You know, nothing left. Put it all out there. Yeah. And then goes into third, and then I had to come out and kind of back it up yeah well that's that's Ooh. massive performance under pressure like you must have been stoked and your coach must have been stoked with that as well oh wow yeah it just yeah. was and it, it was actually probably the worst setup i gave myself for that um for the competition because they're starting the 200 meters yeah and i kind of got on the track and i was like okay set myself and then they set the, they were like set for the turn and I was like oh can I just wait for the gun yeah and the lady was like oh no no your clock started oh and because I've I'd never practiced with a clock before yeah, I didn't yeah, know yeah. like how long things took and like how long my setup was so did I just you, saw this just clock cr counting down and I was yeah. just like oh god I gotta go okay just like and just ran wow wow that's awesome <laughs> and I almost think it was to my advantage because yeah. I I just wasn't thinking about anything else yep. other than just starting my run up and it yep. kind of I, th I reckon that probably set me up even better music wise I always like to know what kind of tunes oh. are you into <laughs> I was a bit scared you were going to ask uh. this question <laughs> so I'm hard either, hitting here I'm in either the car gonna with get stabbed or there's going to be some like hard banter yes. um, after this because I is this what you're no no direction? I, I am a Nickelback fan yeah right cool yeah, yeah. so I, I mentioned that the other week at Throws Camp and I almost <laughs> oh really? They got into you? Oh, Kim was like on the table, like, rah! <laughs> <laughs> Classy. Mossy, another success there. Well done. I don't know how you're convincing them to jump in the car with you, but you are. And uh, mate, you're dishing up some great viewing there. And I can't wait to see who you're going to get in there next. Absolutely. Now, just if you want to, go onto our YouTube channel and you'll be able to catch the extended show on that one. And stay tuned very shortly through your ears. That's right. You'll get a podcast. Okay. We've had a chuckle there, Robbo. Let's have a look at the run jump chuck of the week. We've had uh, some fantastic ones so far, mate. I'm sure you've plucked a good one out this week. Well, Mossy, I thought it's only fitting. We're heading over there, there to Perth, the home place of the queen of the chuck, none other than Kim Mickle. And here's what she has been able to do off the track in terms of the chuck. So there you go, Mossy. You know, it's easy enough. You know, you get lucky. You could get that basket in. Um, but let's see if she can do it again. Outrageous stuff there, Robbo. Outrageous stuff. Now, you know, with... Without wanting to, uh, you know, overuse it too much, double thumbs up. Well, mate, it's time for that great segment, caption competition, mate. Yes, very much so, Mossy. And this week, as you can see on your screen now, here was the picture, and we asked you to send in the caption. What is Sally saying to Robbo here in this shot? Look, Mossy, we've had, we've been inundated with responses here. A lot of love shown for the caption contest, but our winner today, we can announce, is Lee B twenty three twenty one, who said. I run the second fastest time in my career, and you're telling me Jumpy missed it? <laughs> oh, there nice. You go. Well done, Lee B. You'll be receiving your very own Naked Runners uh, headband supporters pack. They are performance enhancing. They'll make you run faster, throw further, and jump higher than you've ever run. The one thing we do say life. is don't wear them at the same time, though. You actually get the reverse of the oh, performance yes. enhancement. Can wait, can wait you down. 
Absolutely. Now, next stop on the tour, mate, we have none other than the Jandicott City Track Classic. Now, right. I don't know if you know where Jandicott City is, but it's actually the sponsor of the Perth Track Classic. Mate, I won't be there this year. Um, you know why. Well, Do you want to tell you know, them? You went over last year, and I was always concerned. I had this thought in the back of my mind. Look, a, a pasty redhead like yourself, it's called the City of Light. Very, very high UV over there. And look, this is a decision that hasn't been taken lightly. Uh, occupational health and safety reasons. Mossy, you're staying home and uh, you keep yourself uh, nicely sun protected. We'll go over there and face that harsh light and uh, we look forward to catching up with you again in Adelaide the following week. Yeah, being Valentine's Day, mate, we're calling it the love stream. Uh, mate, I'll be sitting back with my glass of wine, uh, with a bunch of roses there, and a nice little cheese platter, mate. Um, but what I want to know beforehand, what am I, What should I be looking for? Well, mate, the, uh, the love stream will be absolutely showtasing uh, a plethora of great ones. Oh, chat, great chat use action. of the word, plethora. And, and plenty of WA locals, Mossy, and, and in the run in particular, I'm really looking forward to seeing in the Herb Elliott Mile. Now, here's the book, uh, all about Herb. Do you know that no one has broken a four minute mile, no West Australian, in Perth, since Herb did it in 1958, almost on Valentine's Day. So it was the 15th of February, 1958, when Herb went under four minutes. This year we might see one, two, or three WA athletes doing that. Mark C is leading the charge, and I reckon he's gonna be pretty red hot. Uh, Josh Tedesco, Ethan Haywood would be there as well. So I can't wait for the Herb Mile. You know I love that. Now, crazy people do crazy sports. In athletics, we do have some crazy ones, and they all gravitate towards the high-impact, action-packed pole vault. I'm assuming that's going to be your jump highlight for this week. Oh, look, it's very hard to pass it up. It's the first time we've seen the pole vault on the tour so far, Mossy, and uh, when you've got the national record holder, Alana Boyd, lining up against the Parnov sisters, Emma Philippe, Nina Kennedy from Western Australia, this is going to be a mouth-watering battle, and I can't wait to see how they go. Uh, getting up some big, big heights and hopefully some world uh, champs qualifiers as well. Absolutely. I'm just trying to think because they are a run and a jumper as well. Oh. But do, what do you call it? Run, stab. run, yeah, stab, <laughs> chuck, something yeah. like that. Well, no chucking involved at all. Okay, speaking of chucking. You chuck do chuck it away. Chuck the oh, pole away. So well, is, is pole vault the, the pure, ultimate sport? Could be. The purest of the purest sports. Could be. Unbelievable. Right, okay, speaking of the girls out there, uh, we've got the chucks. We threatened to have the triple K action in Canberra. Is it going to happen in Perth? Yes, we have. We've found the missing K, and it is none other than Kim Mickle. And she's going to be lining up uh, over there in Perth, and it's going to complete the triple Ks. I think one of the Chinese athletes is coming back again. She's given up doing the triple jump, so she's going to be out there <laughs> trying to have a bit of a crack. Um, the meet record's under threat. I think it's high 63s. It'll probably go first round. World champs qualifiers. Well, Kim needs to jump on that bus as well. Mossy, we might see national records. We might see all sorts of crazy things. What I want to see is an homage to Cupid and throwing his spear, arrow, out into the middle. And we have a giant heart out there, precision jab, Valentine's Day style. What do you think? I think it's perfect, mate. I think it's perfect. Maybe even someone from the crowd. I think this, we need to do this in athletics, get someone from the crowd involved. Um, you know, maybe a lovely couple sitting on a yeah. tartan couch perfect. in the middle as well. Perfect. It's not madness, is right. it, Robert? We'll make that happen. Hopefully, if you're tuning in the love stream, you'll see that happen. Well, folks, that's all we've got time for this week here on Run, Jump, Chuck. But don't worry, the hits just keep rolling on. Saturday, it's the love stream for the Jandicott City Track Classic over there in Perth. 6 p.m. for locals who can't make it down. If you're over on the East Coast, it's a 9 p.m. kickoff. Get yourself a box of chocolates, get yourself some roses, and uh, set the scene for what's going to be a great night of athletics action there. Mossy, what about the shirts? If you want to get yourself into one of these like these guys have then it's very simple. All you need to do is just jump onto our website, uh, mossyandrobo.com forward slash shop, and you can get your own pink or blue official Run Jump Chuck uh, t-shirt, or you can get any colour you want, Mossy. Get on there and check it out. This is the hot ticket item in world athletics right now. Do not miss out. That's right, mossyandrobo.com. And whilst there's a love stream going on on Valentine's Day, why don't you share the love for us? Subscribe, like, do whatever you can. Tell the whole world about it. Now, Robbo, going out as always, we have Got Talent. Now, it has been an athlete's Got Talent. We've also had Look, Mossy, a CEO's very, Got very Talent. Very special. We <laughs> have actual talent in the studio tonight. Perfect. So, uh, yeah, very, very great to uh, have some talent here. But, yeah, go on. What have we got for us this week? Well, mate, we have... We're not sure. We had athletes Got Talent. We had CEO's Got Talent. What about if we got an, an athlete who was a CEO and uh, we managed to find one? His name's Ben Offerens. He's the CEO down there at Athletics ACT. Did a fantastic job down there at the Canberra Track Classic. 
And uh, this is Benny Offren's rendition of Mr. Big's Next to Be With You, taking us out tonight. And remember, folks, it's a simple thing, athletics. Run, jump, and chuck. chuck. I'm the one who wants to be with you, yeah. <laughs> Deep inside, I hope you feel it, you feel it too. Waiting on the line, waiting on the line. Deep inside, I hope you feel it, feel it too. Yeah. We love you. We're coming back. You. So much talent. So We've always much got talent. talent. Talent to burn. <laughs>